Good morning, good morning, hello, and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. So this morning, I'm going to be, uh, we're going to do a couple things. We are, I'm going to unbox the, the version 2 from Gnome Core WDT, kind of like Nero. So this is adjust, you can actually adjust the height as well. So this is the version 1 from Gnome Core. Uh, I got this one, gosh, a while ago. You know, it has a lot of issues, okay. First of all, the needle is way too thick compared to kind of like nowadays all the needles coming from like Amazon or Etsy, even like 3D prints, they're all like acupuncture needle. Again, this is way too thick. So what Normcore did, so they take a lot of recommendation from you guys, they come up with the version 2, okay? So I'm going to be unboxing this. By the way, if you search Normcore right now on Amazon, hold on, let me pull it up for you. Okay, let's take a look. Hopefully I can show you guys quick. Okay, here is the tools they have. Normcore 58 millimeter adjustable needle distribution tool version two. Okay, look at the rating, guys. This has one rating, as one star, as setting for eighty dollars. Okay. I'm curious about that rating though. Okay. Uh, look like has one views. Okay, so let's see here. The problem with this one. Okay, so look like the bottom of uh, IMS filter basket does not touch it. Okay. So again, uh, look like only has one review on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unbox and let's make some coffee with it. All right, so let's make some coffee. Oh, uh, you know what? I think I do have their, their temper too. So maybe I should use their temper as well. Let's do that, hold on. Since we are using the Gnome Core right now, so I'm gonna bring out their Gnome Core temper as well. Yeah, so this is the Gnome Core, the 58 millimeter. I think this is 54. Yeah, so this is 58. So instead of using uh, my other stuff, yeah, so this is 58 meters. So let's use the norm core uh, temper too. So you get, you know, you get to see it. Uh, I already measured out 18 gram. You know, I have not opened this box yet. So I'm going to show you from the top, okay? Let's unbox this. All right, let's, let's get going. I'm very excited to find out okay, how good this tour is because I know they spent a lot of time and effort to redesign the version 2 so okay, pretty heavy though okay, I have to say pretty heavy you know I'm curious I'm just gonna wait this Comes with an extra needle. That's always good. Okay, packaging experience. Let's see your beer quality. You know what? They're pretty heavy duty. Okay. So this is the version two. 513 gram there. Version one. Excuse me, uh, 251, okay. All right. That's big difference in kind of like the twice heavier than other one, okay, the version one. All right. Okay, so I got some tape on. I'm just gonna remove the tape here. Uh, if you're joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming. I'm just gonna remove the tape okay they actually taped this all right here we go they're pretty heavy they're pretty heavy duty there okay all right OK, 
okay that's not bad again you see that this needle is much much thinner than one before okay so here the spins are run like this spins around so look like so you're gonna put top of the basket and then you spin it so where is a adjust hold on I'm just gonna I'm gonna mo move the top here I see I wonder here is the where you adjust the height okay Yep. You see that? Go up or down. You can actually adjust the height there. How far you want to go inside or out. Again, so this is very fragile needles. So make sure you got to be careful with that. I'm just going to put back in here. So again, you can adjust the height. Yeah, so again, so this is a very fragile needle. So you got to, if you bend, you just uh, bend it back. That's why they, they gave you extra needle sets. Okay, so you know what? Hold on. Because I can see. Go right on the top. I see some issues with this. Okay. It's not locked in. So this, uh, I have the IMS basket here. So this is the precision basket. Trying to, let's see here. You know what? So far I'm using two baskets. I believe this is 58. Hold on a second. I'm just going to make sure. Check the label. Hold on. Oh, goodness. You know what? My bad. Okay. This is a 54 millimeter, okay. This is 54. So, it's gonna be fits in here 54 millimeter. So they sent me 54, there we go. Yeah, the perfectly fit. How did they gonna send me 58, but again, hey. You know what, but that doesn't mean we cannot stop. All right. I'm going to put this one back together here. But I'm going to show you anyway, okay? We're going to do it. I'm going to be showing you. So let's do the live demo anyway. Okay, so this is the 54 millimeter. I need to change my, yeah, I need to change my title. It should be 54, not 58, okay? If you're just watching for 54, nope, it's gonna be 58, all right. All right, at this point, Luckily, I do have the 58 millimeter norm core. <clears throat> so let's grind some coffee beans.
If you are jo joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Okay, here we go. All right, so this is the I'm, I'm just gonna go like this <coughs> as you can see it's pretty messy okay I'm gonna you put the 54 millimeter tools right on the top here you're just gonna spin around okay This is interesting. Works good. I'm, you know, hold on. I'm just, I'm just gonna put a little indention there. Okay. Let, let's try that one more time. Yeah. Just go slow. It's not smooth as uh, some other device, but still, they're still smooth enough. It does work. All right. It does works pretty good. I'm just gonna temp it at this point, straight down. I'm using the Normcore spring loaded. So this is a 54 point, I believe 50 point, 54 point five. Okay, give you that very precise temp and the even temp as well. Everything's all even. You know what? It'd be nice to pull the shot. Okay. It'd be nice to pull the shot. Hold on a second here. Uh, let's see here. By the way, okay, if you guys are watching right now, it's not a 58 millimeter. So this is a 54 millimeter. So I'm gonna be testing tomorrow. Okay, I think I'm gonna be testing tomorrow morning. And hold on a second here. Let's see. I'm gonna go to Amazon. I'm gonna look at the 54 millimeter. The needle tools for 54. I, I bet. I think they are the same price. Okay. Hold on. Let me check on Amazon right now. Let's see. 54 millimeter. Yep. 79 bucks. 80 bucks. <coughs> Has no review. L at least you get to see it. Uh, you know what? By, by the way, if you have this at home, uh, let me know in the comment section. Do you like it or? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Let me know. I'd uh, love to hear your thoughts on it. I mean, I don't want to go waste on this one. So here's what I'm gonna do. So this is a light roast. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to get my Brisa Express. Hold on. Okay. We are going to fire up the Brista Express right now. Okay, someone's. T okay, so who thinks that it's going to channel? Okay, let me know in the live comment section there. Okay, who thinks that it's going to channel?
by the way, pretty much I messed up the, uh, as we saw, we WDT this thing twice, okay? Uh, Shin uh, thinks the E1 channel. Let's see here. Let's see, Jonathan thinks they, well, someone thinks they, it's, uh, it's going to be channeling. Dogman, uh, yeah, Dogman thinks they, it's going to be channeling. And hold on a second here, let's see. I'm just going to start up first. By the way, everything is so cold right now, guys. Everything is so cold. So cold. I need a time to descale as well. I got the descale light on, so I, I think I'm going to be definitely descaling that next few days. I'm just going to go steam first. Uh, by the way, if you are just joining us for the first time, welcome. Okay. Again, with the Brista Express, even like steaming. Okay, so this machine is so cold right now. So you gotta wait about good, you know, 30 to 40 seconds. There we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, that sounds like my uh, solenoid is going bad. Okay, I can I can definitely sense it. All right, so here we go. Let's put some coffee, guys. All right, let's see. And the uh, dogman thinks that I'm gonna have channeling, and Shin thinks that you won't be. All right, here we go. Looks pretty good. No channeling so far. Yeah. It's about nine. Yeah, that's about nine bar indicator there. Okay. So it looks pretty good. Not bad for Brista Express. Okay. Not bad for Brista Express. Beautiful shots. Let's give it a try. Yeah, I mean, it looks fine by me. Okay. Uh, comes to tasting notes. Give you guys a heads up. Passion fruit. Okay. Uh, what else? Vanilla, simple vanilla syrup. And. Tangerine. Okay, tangerine. Cheers. Smells pretty good there. Tangerine. Sweet. It's not bad. Goodness. You know what? I have to say, uh, I th you know what? Maybe I should cover that, you know, at some point, but I really enjoy using Brista Express and Pro, especially Bravo Brista Pro. I mean, over the years, it's been rock solid coffee machine at home. So I mean, it's, there, it's been fantastic. And if you are thinking about getting, if you have Brista Express or uh, Pro at home, thinking about upgrading it, start with the grinder first, okay? Upgrade the grinder and then, okay? And then maybe do some more research based on your budget, figure it out, you know, what kind of, kind of like, kind of prosumer, uh, coffee machine at home. So, but yeah, I mean, don't rush it. If I were you, start with the grinder first. I mean, again, so this coffee, 
this is as good. Okay, I have to say, the, as good as the my little Bianca behind me. So, I mean, without any warming up the machine, you just saw we just set everything up. So yeah, it's pretty good. Anyway, uh, so 54 millimeter gnome core distribution uh, WDT tools. I mean, it does work. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a game changer. I don't know. Okay, not sure. Not sure. All right, it's gonna be worth eighty dollars. Uh, that's something you have to decide. You know, I mean, that's why I'm doing the live streaming for you, so you can decide. I mean, this is something you know you want to use down the road. If you have fifty-four millimeter, because the the way it's designed, okay. Uh, they are kind of like narrow and taller so I mean prevent based on the design alone prevent a lot of uh, channeling okay give you that you know give give you that better hold on uh, Shin mentioned like, inexpensive one $80 one is yeah so again the spending 80 bucks is a little high for tools because comes a WDT tool you can make it a one head home, okay? So this is my homemade with a wine cork. Works amazing. If you wanna branch out to like 3D print, there's a lot of 3D prints out there. Shout out to J Kim. Let's see here. This is the puck rake. Again, you have a lot of options now, folks, okay? You have a lot of options, comes to tools wise. I mean, it's not like, you know, a while ago. Well, uh, let's see here. Michael asked me, who and why do you wear single gloves? Because, I mean, I don't do doubles, okay? <clears throat> the reason is my fingers got so dried up. Man, it looks really bad, okay? It looks really bad. So that's the reason why I'm just wearing, you know, this hand. That's it. I mean, these hands are just fine. So, yeah, these fingers are fine. But these fingers are so messed up. All right, so hold on. And then uh, Rob asked, Hoon, would you spend $80 on it? If you ask me, am I going to spend 80 bucks on it? My answer is no. Okay, I'm not gonna spend 80 bucks on tools because, I mean, I mean, I'd rather use my uh, homemade ones. So is a homemade ones better than the $80 ones? I'd like to find out, okay? So maybe we should do that. Maybe we should do that tomorrow morning or something. Yeah. Is the $80 tool is better than uh, my kind of like this one cost me pretty much next to nothing. Just a wine cork and some acupuncture needles. So yeah, uh, let's do that tomorrow. All right. Okay, hold on a second. DK Kim, I would use the WDT tools plus the dosing funnel, okay? We have a Shin. Let's see here. Shin say, oh, hold on. She mentions about something. Goodness, I need to put my glasses on. Anyway, uh, let's see. So again, so tomorrow, yeah, maybe maybe like tomorrow morning. Okay. So like tomorrow morning, uh, let's prepare two shots. One with my homemade tools, and second one with this. Okay. And see which one give you a better shot. You know, it comes to, it's going to be the same look and feel. Again, I mean, you saw, I mean, comes to channeling wise, it wasn't that bad. I, I didn't say any channeling there. Plus, this is a, a four months old coffee as well. Four months old coffee. I mean, Brista Express handled it just fine. So this is a medium to light roast too. Yeah, so this is more like medium to light. Yeah, so I mean, it, again, no complaints. Okay, no complaints about the machine anyway i hope you guys having a wonderful morning and uh, i'll be back uh sometime today hold on john just got a g what g60 i don't know what that is john okay i don't know what that is okay all right guys i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow or maybe later today okay maybe later today okay bye bye